everybody is on the mobiles now mm-hmm. they want to buy the product from the mobile if your product is not there on the mobile mm-hmm. uh, that means digital i don't think you can sell your product if you want a loan or you want any other activity to be done the government is there to support you okay aap bolo mere ko ye help chahiye there will be so many options available aap sochoge ye option lo ya ye option lo whether it is finances technical knowledge consultancy anything us samay to computers bhi naye aaye the if you see any mnc bank first two years three years they are busy making the system they are not busy earning yeah after two three years they start earning we yeah. smes are very small Mm-hmm. we cannot sustain for 2 years 3 years will disappear by then yeah but in case you can make some systems by then mm-hmm. put it on the auto mode okay. we are all one man show hello everyone uh, welcome to uh, the merchants mic uh, this is our first podcast uh, where the idea of this merchant mic is to uh, tell the story of msmes to the global audience uh, and here today in the first episode we have uh, mr sanjay uh, batra he is a the founder and the ceo of uh, sam products private limited uh, sam products private limited is primarily a manufacturer of air curtains uh, air blowers and fabrication of air blowers and so on and so forth in which is used in cleaning rooms so lot of uh, you know uh, insights we will be getting about the industry about the struggle about how msm is working today and also because he have been in this industry from last 30 years so there are lot of things we will be learning from him so let's welcome uh, mr sanjay batra hi i am sanjay batra i am director at sam products private limited we are manufacturers for air showers air curtains laminate floor bench fan filter unit and we also undertake turnkey projects for clean rooms we are at greater noida anytime you need us we are always there for you thank you so let's start uh, uh, from uh, your introduction uh, sanjay ji that what is this uh, uh, you know how do you thought about entering you know entrepreneurship you know because people when this uh complete the college they feel that let me do a government job you know and uh, uh, how do you think about it you know uh, just wanted to hear from you yeah thank you so much but what happens is when you do engineering i i did my engineering so when you are in the final year you feel a pass out ho gaye hum to ban gaye chief engineer superintendent engineer now we are the big boss ab bada sa ek office hoga and uh-huh. but the moment you come out of your college so you're on the road actually okay you don't know what to do and what's happening your theoretical knowledge is very different than yeah. what is actually happening yeah yeah fortunately i was picked up uh, by three company blue star mahindra mahindra and swaraj mazda at that time from my college itself and i joined blue star okay. worked there we did very good projects my boss was just too good he used to call me in the morning at 7 and leave me around 9 in the evening yeah but uh, usne mere ko bahut kuch sikhaya every time i think about him i salute him okay and uh, we were seven boys one girl six boys seven people who joined together 35 rupees sabka salary us samay bada mera nahi bada i <laughs> got annoyed <laughs> so i told my boss mera boss mera 35 rupees salary sabka bada mera he said agle mahine bada denge baad mein bada denge mai ka yaar mai kaam to unse zyada kar raha hu output and you are happy also he said nahi nahi we'll look after it think about it and i said no yeah. yaar this is not done yeah so two months i was sitting at home with no job i blew up all the money i had saved yeah i used to get about uh, 2400 rupees as my salary plus okay. 600 rupees as vehicle truck 3000 rupees milta tha us time you are talking about when 1990 i am talking about 1990 91 91 yeah and us time wo bas mood tha kuch apna karne ka i had 1500 rupees in my pocket yeah एक रिक्शे वाले को बुलाया मेड द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट यू नो इधर उधर भाग भाग के रिक्शे वाले को भैया तुम हेल्प करोगे यहाँ फिफ्टी रुपीज दिया उसने मुझे हेल्प किया एंड दैट इज हाउ द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट वेंट आउट टुक लॉट ऑफ टाइम देर वॉज नो सपोर्ट फिनेंशियल और एनी थिंग नो एक्सपीरियंस नो नो बिजनेस बैकग्राउंड हो गया शू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग है ना मतलब 
starting with that 50 rupees right that 50 rupees you still remember more to rickshaw wala bhi yaad rahega aapko yes, right no yes, yes. that who helped you yes. to i mean take that product you know exactly. maybe yeah okay very interesting so how 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 do you feel now you know building the whole company from scratch and where you are today you know how how feeling kaisa aata hai aapko you know how do you feel now it's very difficult to believe i did all that <laughs> okay <laughs> but yes it is a good experience mm-hmm. and the best part is today a lot of options are available for example if you want a loan or you want any other activity to be done the government is there to support you okay aap bolo mere ko ye help chahiye there will be so many options available aap sochoge ye option lo ya ye option lo whether it is finances technical knowledge consultancy anything उस समय तो कंप्यूटर्स भी नए आए थे तो ना आपको कोटेशन बनाने के लिए भी यू यू टू वॉक डाउन सम या एंड देन देन टाइप इट फॉर चार्ज ट्वेंटी रुपीस फिर उसका करेक्शन करोगे फिर पोस्ट करोगे फिर पोस्ट ऑफिस जाओगे अभी तो इट टेक्स थ्री थ्री सेकेंड फट से व्हाट्सएप के ऊपर so uh, sachi so, um, can you talk a little bit about uh, sam products private limited what exactly the company is all about what they what you are into you know a uh, little bit more from your company perspective you know yeah kya karte hain aapka product kahan use hota hai you know we are making machines we design them and we fabricate them for our customers although we are the ones who f- who first made standards you know standard sizes for the machines okay earlier there were no standard sizes and now the customer is benefited because he can directly choose mereko ye size se hai ya ye size se so you are talking about this air blowers air yes filters. we are making machines which are used in clean rooms what okay. are clean rooms is where you can control the temperature humidity and particle size okay then you can control the oxygen and the carbon dioxide levels okay so we make some machines for them plus we do the turnkey basis okay. for the clean room also okay for example for pharmaceuticals electronics mm-hmm. or you now automobiles mm-hmm. this is a huge uh, requirement okay. uh, one of my first customers i remember is he used to do his uh, visiting cards screen okay. printing you know yeah 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 so he called me one day mm-hmm. he said sanjay yaar ye mere na printing karta hu us pe dust aati hai acha yeah. nahi lagta hai yeah yeah and i import ink from uh, italy mm mm-hmm. and it's a very expensive uh, ink so can you help me out yeah so i gave him some products i suggested some ways this i'm talking about i think 96 97 he took 3 air showers from me yeah he took around 11 air curtains okay and around 18 fan filter units for screen printing of a visiting card my god okay after about 4 5 years i came to know he is making stickers for honda motorcycle and all And he challenges मेरा sticker अगर उतार के दिखाओगे तो गाड़ी free दूंगा Okay, अच्छा Just imagine वो बन that customer of mine कितना पहले उन्होंने सोचा because the adhesiveness increased because there was no dust. हम्म 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 So our products are used where you want to control dust, okay, bacteria, virus, microorganisms. So you are manufacturing here itself, right? In, yes, we have factories in Noida and Greater Noida where do where we do the manufacturing. Okay, and I, where do you source your raw material from in India itself or outside India? And there were few items which we were importing from China. Okay. But now everything is made in India. In fact, last year CPHI mm-hmm. Parma Awards they gave us for made in India also. Oh, we won that award. Great. And everything is in house now. so i mean you does make in india you know uh, as yourself also you are working on make in india as a concept so how do you find this initiative of make in india atmanirbhar bharat which you know our government uh, mr modi is you know encouraging everybody to you know take it forward so how do you find this as a initiative would you doubt it huh would you doubt i it? don't doubt it but hearing would, from you is like i would know? say <laughs> yeah <laughs> i would say it's one of the finest finest and the best um, uh, thing that can happen to indian industry yeah i feel proud today that mm. it's a make in india or a made in india product yeah and i feel so proud because my product is recognized by my hard work yeah i'll give you one more example you know recently about 7 or 8 years back i was in germany for an exhibition yeah my competitor from sweden he had uh, displayed his same product okay 
I saw that product for about 10-15 minutes. Then mm. I asked him, is this your product? He said, yes, very mm. much. Why? What's your problem? Mm. I said, Ismina, this thing is wrong. And this thing you could have changed. Why don't you innovate this like this? And yeah, he yeah. said, uh, are you from India? Okay. I said, yes, why? He said, I'm sorry, I don't have time. So would you move to the next display unit? I said, but what's your problem? Mm -hmm. He said, no, no. We are happy the way we have. Okay. <laughs> I said, what's your problem if I'm telling you something? He says, no, you will copy. Karoge. Okay. I said, I copy not copy. I'm helping you to improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next year, I'll come and sell my product in your country. Make in India. Karke. Okay. Yeah. So, he was like, you know, yaar, look at his confidence. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a very good step by the Indian government. And mm -hmm. I salute uh, our prime, Honorable Prime Minister, Shri Modi ji. It is giving us a boost. Yeah. So, in fact, if you ask that, you know, do you have any doubt? We don't have any doubt. That's why what we have done in our platform also, if you go to our listing, with all the SMEs, we have this icon called Make in India. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, for every listing who are who have, who are manufacturing in India, we, we have a list, you know, we say, that, okay, Make in India product. Very nice, yeah? very nice. So, that initiative we have very taken nice. uh, already, nice. you know, the day when this was launched. Oh. Yeah, the day when it was launched, you know. Uh, so I think very interesting, you know, uh, insights and interesting story. You know, and I think all our uh, people who will be looking at this podcast will have a lot of things to learn from you, starting from your college days, then your, you know, how you thought about it to start a business. And uh, then uh, how, you know, how you are innovating in this, you know, uh, space. But like, you know, technology is changing, right? Technology is changing in everywhere. So any technology changes which is coming in your industry as well? Uh, have you seen in last 30 years? I'll give you again a small example. I'm full of examples, no? <laughs> Very good. I mean, that that's really works and that really helps I, everybody to learn from you, you know? I, I happened to visit a, a factory in northern India. Mm. And they were making a product where the... Uh, lead used to fly in the air. So the operator, his dress, that will be full of lead. And when he'll go and sit for food, yeah. that lead will fall on his table, on his mm -hmm. plate. Okay. And that's what he'll consume. So it will reduce his life. Yeah. I happened to be there. I saw the whole process and I requested the manager. I said, Sir, can we do some innovation here? Uh -huh. I'm not happy with the way you're working. Mm. He, it's a very big company, giant yeah. company, and he felt very offended. No, he made me Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he liked the idea, so okay. he went to the vice president. Mm -hmm. I had a meeting with the vice president. Okay. I requested some steps. He said, "Do you think you can do it?" Mm -hmm. I said, "Try it out." Yeah. Now they had planned with an American company for the same product mm -hmm. for about two CR. Yeah. And I was ready to give them for twenty-two lakhs. Okay. He said, the gap is very yeah, If yeah. you fail, I lose my job. Yeah. I said, if I fail, I will not come back for the money. Okay. And you pay me once it passes. Okay. We made it. That was first time for us also. We put it. And then they called that American, who was buying it. They said, find out some faults in this. Mm. Two faults nikale, which were of no use. Yeah. We got the payment. And today, they in their all units, they have this installation. They're okay. so happy with it. Mm -hmm. Even the worker says, Ki saab, ye nahi chalega to khala nahi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because jitna lead it goes out. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, what happens is, over the period, there have been a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. Whether it is my customer end or mm -hmm. my end. Everyone is going digital now. Yeah, yeah. We are going in for bigger and better machines. Yeah. Faster, sorry, faster machines. Mm. Well, there are a lot of innovations. Oh, happening. yes. So, are you touch based digital? You know, just wanted to ask this uh, because over you have been, you know, in this industry from last three decades, right? So, how this has changed in terms of doing business? Because today, for I always believe that, you know, uh, first line of business has become digital today. You have to be on digital first, then offline. Exactly. Right? So, true. do you see that change now or do you still feel that no, offline is something which is still happening or if you are online, then you, if you are not online, in fact, you know, you will be looting a lot of business to your competitions. How do you see as a stakeholder, as an entrepreneur that, uh, how this digital space is changing and how it's important for SMBs to be there? If you are not there, it's better you close it. It's something like this. Okay. 
because everything has gone digital now mm-hmm. you everybody is on the mobiles now mm-hmm. they want to buy the product from the mobile if your product is not there on the mobile mm-hmm. uh, that means digital i don't think you can sell your product gone are the days who door to door cold uh, calling hoti thi yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody talks about it now yeah, yeah, now yeah. we are talking is how fast can we reach the customer how can we retain them mm-hmm. what are the feedback what are the repeats and so many other things we are talking now mm-hmm. everything has gone digital okay yeah yeah your quotation go on the softwares okay you have to just press the button it goes okay i mean you don't have to really sit and type and think ke kya rate do and nahi in fact what interesting teach change aap touch kar rahe hain no one is you know from the uh digital uh, marketing perspective now once what you touched about is digital operations and digital transformation of your organization right uh, people when we think digital people only think about there is a website और मेरे को पास बायर आना चाहिए बट वी आर वट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इज नॉट ओनली दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इफ द ऑपरेशन शुड बी ऑल्सो डिजिटल राइट ऑन अ बटन आई नो अप्रूवल इन दिस कोटेशन शुड गो ऑन अ बटन यू नो पेमेंट लिंक शुड गो यू नो एवरी थिंग शुड बी ऑन डिजिटल एंड फ्रॉम हियर आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन हाउ यू आर रनिंग यूर ऑपरेशन हाउ बिग इज योर टीम हाउ यू आर इंश्योरिंग दैट योर टीम इज मोटिवेटेड इनफ that you know because all the success because it's 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 30 years it's a big time you know because uh, in the startup ecosystem uh, what we have seen is there are a lot of startups is coming but 99% they fail or they close down within 5 years right when there's a solid product and a solid foundation and a good team there is always a success okay so just wanted to know how big is the team how you are motivating them how you how who, who is behind the success of your organization it's not me <laughs> <laughs> good to hear that <laughs> yeah. in my organization probably is the systems yeah now what happens is if you see any mnc bank first two years three years they are busy making the system they are not busy earning yeah after two three years they start earning yeah we smes are very small Mm-hmm. we cannot sustain for 2 years 3 years will disappear by then yeah but in case you can make some systems by then mm-hmm. put it on the auto mode okay we are all one man show yeah we don't want to lose our power usko yeah. pata lag gaya to wo le gaya to yeah. you know we yeah. have that fear yeah leave it to them yeah my, my employees they are just like my brothers you know mm-hmm. they don't want to leave me they continue life long with me yeah ab unke bacche ki shaadi hai sir mera bacche ki shaadi ho gaya bada ho gaya isko bhi laga lo aap yeah you know i have tried to make a culture in my company yeah where they feel responsible mm-hmm. the customer will feel i mean i have most of my customers are repeat customers okay now what happens is they interact with my team more than me yeah and they feel more at home with them mm mm-hmm. because my team is comfortable the way i work okay so i think very good point uh, sanjay ji one is uh, first which is culture so for any organization to grow fast culture is very very critical yes second is you need to have a right people who have the right mindset okay. i i i i i'm sorry i re- regret over here second i would say is give them responsibility yeah. and they are responsible have yeah, faith so that's in that's what them. i was coming yes, to the sorry. next was you know the process yes. you know, build a right process yes. and then give them the you know authority and, and so that they can take the accountability yes yes have yeah. faith on them yeah faith on them so i'm basically a trust on them right yes. and, and then, then they, will, they give, will deliver and then give them space yes absolutely you shouldn't expect maine abhi bola tha hua nahi ha give them space they'll take time yeah but you'll find that it's a perfect job done yeah 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 I totally agree with you uh, now see, this industry is something you know uh, maybe it can be it can be niche also or it can be you know uh, uh, so just wanted to know which kind of you know industry your product is being used today as i said earlier my product is uh, to remove the dust particles yeah, yeah. Uh, to remove the microorganism bacteria virus mm-hmm. it helps now for example i have a product known as air shower which is yeah. which is installed at the entry to the clean room okay that means when you are wearing a clean room dress mm-hmm. and walking into a clean room so whatever pathogens you have on your dress yeah. or the dirt dust that will get removed inside that shower because of the huge speed of air yeah yeah so when you enter the clean room you are not carrying any dust okay. for example during covid 
most of our customers used to pass through our air showers once in a day oh okay i i i am yet to receive any call saying ki sir hame hua tha yeah. although we used to pass because we had hepa filters inside okay so they used to remove all the microorganisms yeah. they were they used to feel pretty safe mm mm-hmm. so these are products which are used maybe in electronics okay maybe pharmaceuticals okay maybe paint shops all automobile all automobile yes. okay and then uh, wherever we have entry systems okay delhi is one of the most polluted cities in yeah, the world yeah 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 we have huge dust particles <laughs> pm 2.5 yeah yeah if i install my product at the entry gate yeah. it reduces the dust level inside is it oh. yes it helps to a very big extent oh, great so okay. that's how people are using it so many food industry so just just for a curiosity is your demand increased because of the, <laughs> the position in <laughs> delhi <laughs> no no <laughs> it has okay okay just just you know so um, uh, so, uh, so, so i mean now coming to you know so we talked about you know uh, how this industry is evolving how the technology is changing uh, how what was the struggle but now what are the challenges in this industry so any challenges you find you know here in this industry yes uh-huh. we have a niche market all along we had a niche market you know? yeah yeah then uh, earlier we had competition from the giants present in the country yeah slowly that competition we faced then it came from china okay our products they were coming with the chinese company yeah. the chinese now we had to fight them out okay then we had the koreans then we had the swedish mm. belgian yeah so we fought with all of them and then over the period we fought with the technology also we had to upgrade ourselves regularly mm-hmm. then there were a lot of compliances service tax fringe benefit tax excise duty yeah. sales tax lots lots of taxations yeah. and you would end up doing only compliances 80% time used to go abhi na modi sahab ne kya kiya hamare liye one nation one tax gst yeah. Yeah. simple okay aap online jao just see how much is to be paid pay and you're free yeah. it yeah. takes hardly 10 15 minutes absolutely huh. so over the period there is a big, big change okay we have been fighting hum log to fighter see there are roughly around 6.5 crore factory owners in this country okay. in tiny or small industry okay 6.5 and there are roughly around 12 cr people mm-hmm. who are working with 6.5 okay that makes it 18.5 uh-huh. let's assume four people in a house yeah we are talking about 70% of the population in this industry okay and that's huge yeah 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 so i'm what i understand this challenge is coming from the competition specifically from uh, uh, china uh, because of uh, the kind of product they're building and second is of course some of the policies which are there but of course now it has been reduced because of the gst yeah but any other challenge other than that other than the any any from the uh, environment perspective or from uh, running the business perspective any challenges you face currently Yes there are many I think I'll request our honorable <laughs> prime minister to help us a few more not all but a few more for few example more. I'll tell yeah. you what uh, uh, land cost has gone up yeah 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 mm. and none of the manufacturers today can afford that land mm. okay. they are all most of them are on rent yeah yeah aaj bhi na you feel like yaar meri zameen ho correct main apni factory lagaun uh-huh. you know but you are on rent Mm. but the cost is so high mm-hmm. second red tapeism has reduced drastically okay but yes some miles are yet Still to go okay. so i'll request <laughs> just help us out there okay okay just very small steps i'm saying compliances have reduced drastically yeah, little yeah. more because see uh, i know some countries where uh, what government is doing is uh, i'm not naming that country yeah, but uh, what government of that country is doing is you know giving smbs a free space where they can come and start something mm. okay yes yeah mm. and these are all um, very very interesting space uh, i've been to that country uh, so many times okay uh, they encourage people mm. to adopt entrepreneurship and they give yes. you space they give you everything yes yeah. yes uh, but what you have to have is your idea and execute it you know yes. that's it and uh, and i mean it's a good point uh, i think uh, we had when we'll broadcast you know podcast this uh, 
uh, you know, podcast this podcast. I think uh, we will ensure that this particular <laughs> uh, clip is, you know, take, talk, talk, you know, we talk about it more on all our social handles, you know, and I think it's a fair point See, uh, from the SMB perspective, right? I'll give you an example. Like today, income tax, it's all uh, without meeting the people of the government. Everything is online. You don't yeah. know who's doing your audit, right? Correct. Likewise, I'm expecting within next two years, probably GST should be done the same way. Yeah. No physical interaction. Mm -hmm. No stopping of my vehicle on the road. My mm -hmm. factory se nikla. Let it go to the customer. With GPRS, se, we are tracking everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So government is also having developing a lot of faith on the industry. Yeah. Let's hope. Uh, so a lot of technology is being built uh, because we are working with closely with the, uh, the government to understand what they're building. In fact, uh, there are some new technology which is coming that is ONDC. A lot of things is happening there. Okay, mm. which ONDC is specifically, it will be just like UPI. Mm. But UPI is for that you know, payment perspective. Mm -hmm. But ONDC is something, one tool where which will help you know, enterprise like you. You don't have to worry about logistics. You don't have to worry about payment. You don't have to worry about lending. You don't have to worry about technology also. Mm -hmm. So it's all plug and play. You just have to integrate it mm -hmm. and you are done. Yes. Okay. Very, very interesting pro you know, uh, play. Um, this has worked very good with the big to, uh, big to C kind of product. But uh, B2B, we are also started working closely mm -hmm. with them. We are building it. You know, I think this will be the next big change which will happen in India in terms of digital India perspective. Yes, okay. yes. Very, very big change, mm, you yes. know. And this change, I believe, uh, if uh, uh, done properly, executed properly, uh, to globally, you know, all the, you know, SMB space specifically will adopt it. Yes. That's what we see when we see the technology from the, the current perspective, okay. Uh, now, uh, so this is coming to... Uh, I, 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 if you don't mind, I'll add one more thing. Yeah, yeah, please, please go ahead. Yeah. Um, I'm sitting in Uttar Pradesh. Yeah. And my chief minister... Shri Yogi Ji, he's in an excellent job. What he's done is, he's picked up one product from each district. Hmm. We call it ODOP, one district, one product. Okay. Now he is helping the MSME, the tiny, the artisans and everyone who are involved in this uh -huh. to promote the product. Like recently we had a very big, a very big exhibition in uh, Greater Noida. Okay. Now we are having in Gorakhpur. So what he is doing is he's going to various places. He's going abroad also. He's planning. Yeah, yeah. He's getting customers from abroad for us. Mm -hmm. Now other states have started following this. Correct. See the government is trying its best. Industry is also doing its best. Mm -hmm. And we expect good results very soon. Absolutely. And thanks for uh, bringing this in our uh, note. I think... Uh, um, I'll ask my marketing team to connect with the uh, uh, Ministry of, you know, Uttar Pradesh to understand how we can be part of this journey. Great, a very interesting great. space and how yes. we can also help them to popularize their product using our platform. Yes. Okay? Because digital play, we believe that we are one of the two big platforms in India in terms of B2B perspective. I think we, we, we are there and I think we can help them also. So I think uh, I'll ask my marketing to, to connect Thank you so and, and work on this initiative. Thank it's a so very much. good initiative. Yeah? In fact, the as I said earlier, also small scale industry is a one man show. It's a yeah. one man army. Mm -hmm. It requires only a brotherly support from somebody, you know. Yeah, yeah. Digital yeah. media, I am not very savvy. I'm like, oh, okay, bhai. Thoda WhatsApp behavior. Yeah, but all my people, friends in the same industry. Yeah. They may not be so comfortable. Absolutely. But the moment they get little, even 10% support, mm. I know China, we can beat like anything. China so, products are not good. Mm. They are expensive than India. So the, today, the whole focus is in India. Uh, we are looking at... Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, when I was uh, discussing with one of the very senior uh, people and he said that we are looking at 2047. Hmm. Okay. Yes. How we can reach 30 million or 30 trillion market yes, be yes. a market in by 2047? You know, it's a huge. I mean, today India is not talking about what we will achieve in 2030. Will what we will achieve in 2047 is Im what we are discussing today. Imagine you know? the planning going on. <laughs> See the roadmap which we are looking. This shows that where we are going and which direction India is going. I believe that you know the next generation which is coming up will have, they have a great future. And way how we have come up from, you know, we were the five, you know, fifth largest Indian economy in the world. Now we have become fourth. Hopefully by next year, we'll become the third. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I think this is, this was the progress. And uh, that's where... 
people like you, MSME, which we say, you know, are the backbone. You grow, Indian economy will grow. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and whole idea of this podcast also that how we can tell the story of the backbone of the Indian economy to the people of India. Yeah. So uh, very big achievement from your perspective. And I can see that you've got a lot of uh, awards also for your yes. innovations. You know, I just wanted to know what, what excites you to keep on, you know, doing something new in your space. See, all along, it has been discipline, honesty. And my I've been very clear open with my customer. <clears throat> it's not that I treat them as my competitor or something. Mm -hmm. I tell my customer, you are a part of my problem and you are a part of my solution. Yeah. We are on the same side. Mm -hmm. Forget the payment part. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. When, when, whenever I visit them, yeah, yeah. they give me a problem Great. and I have to give them a solution. Yeah, yeah. So we sit and talk and discuss. Yeah. Recently, we made a new product he had some requirement. He says, yeah, Sanjay, yeah, 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 problem a problem. What do we do? Yeah, yeah. So I had to scratch my head. I sat with my team. Then we made some, we went to him. Then we tried this and that. It took a couple of months, but the product was ready. Okay. Now I am showing that product to two more, more of his competitors. I told okay. him, Sab, let me also earn my bread now. <laughs> yeah. So And they are also interested. Yeah. yeah. So I see his discipline. Yeah. Your interest. Yeah, yeah. Be honest. And take and have faith on your team. Yeah, you yeah. can do wonders. Okay. Our SME sector make it. Most of the time, I see is we don't want to share our knowledge. Yeah, we yeah. don't want to open our books, mm -hmm. and we are very closed in our thinking. Probably, I'm sorry if you don't agree or no, no, I, I totally agree with you. I totally but this agree is what I feel. I, maybe no, I'm wrong no, also. I totally agree with you. Yeah. The moment we change this school of thought. We can really do wonders. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Sky is the limit. Yeah, I really like, first thing, I really like your honesty, the way you are, you know, uh, talking about it. You know. Because why I'm saying I, I really uh, you know, agree with you is when we also uh, talk to our customers, you know, when uh, there are a lot of customers in different categories, when we say that, hey, why didn't you share us the product price? They give us the same explanation, right? You know, I don't want to share my price. My competition look into it. You know, there will be a lot of classes from my buyer's perspective. Then I ex we try to explain them, you know. See, today, this was the same problem when it was there for flight or hotel industry, right? People never used to show them. But today, they are doing more business because yes. they are showing the price. Yes, exactly. You know, so you will get your profit margin. Absolutely. Rest is assured. Yeah. Your customer knows you have to earn, otherwise you won't survive. Okay. And the customer says, I am just, I just want to check is, Das ka gyara to nahi ho ra. Das ka nao to nahi ho ra. When I sit my, with my customers, even if they are Japanese customers, uh, they are very clear. Okay. Sab ye aapne kamana hai. Itna yeah, aapke yeah. liye rak di aapne. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now this is the costing. Correct. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, we are a game. And uh, Sanjay what is the kind of support Today, you know, MSMEs uh, are SMEs are getting from the government. You know, if you can touch huge. this little bit, huge support. Huge support, yeah. sir. Yeah. You name it, and you have it. Okay, like you know, if you can help us, you know, with some of the support. Uh, you know. Apne suna hoga CGT MSC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need money. Yeah. Without collateral, Correct. it's available. Okay. So financing is done. Yeah. GST and other compliances. Most of the places, it is. That for three first three years you don't have to do any compliances. Yeah, yeah. After that they'll start. Correct. Third is uh, MSME Mart. There is a portal. Yeah. Where you can display your product. Okay. It's at a very small price. Okay. And you get inquiries from abroad also. Okay. From the domestic, Gem portal is there. Yeah. Where you can sell to the government of India. Correct. Likewise, so selling is taken care of. Mm -hmm. Now they have come out, government has come out with Z, yeah. Z certification. Yeah, yeah. All industry has to get it done. Abhi it is free of cost. Uh -huh. We are also encouraging our own friends to get it done. So what is happening is certifications, government is taking care, sale mm -hmm. part is taking care, yeah. financing it's taking care. Yeah, yeah. One or two points like land I earlier said is yeah, expensive. Yeah. Uh -huh. One or two places we need their help. Yeah. And then so game good, is to, ours. good to good to hear that you know there are a lot of lot, lot of support from the uh, government. Yes. Yeah. Now what is next for uh, Sam Products Private Limited? And how what what are you thinking that how you are planning to take this company to a much higher level? Any any what is your aspiration here? 
Recently, we were at an exhibition. Okay. And we displayed our products. Uh -huh. Fortunately enough, we had a lot of buyers from Iran, Iraq, Syria. We had from Europe, from yeah. Sweden, and uh, two from Korea also. So we have we have good inquiries. Okay. We will try and go ahead with them now. Okay. We'll try and develop a relation and yeah. see that if we can go in for hmm. uh, more sales, more sales to the uh, European countries and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, now. Um, because you know this podcast is all about helping other MSMEs also and SMEs also. So this question to everybody that if I have to grow my business, okay, how do I generate leads? So if you can help, you know, answer this question that lead generation kaise kare? There's one secret. Yeah. If you want, I can share it. Yeah, please, please, please share that with everybody. You know. Yeah. What is that secret? Call Trade India. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, I, I know. Thanks for your honesty. You know, but still, you know, other I, than Trade India, I'd like, I, yeah. I'll admit, I'll admit, yeah. Trade India is a very good ethical company. Yeah. Hats off to you and your team. Uh -huh. They work very hard. Thanks, thanks. Thanks and for this. As I said, they treat me as part of their problem and part of their solution. Mm -hmm. They're always there. One phone call. Yeah. They're yeah. there. Yeah. And they help a lot. But I would, say, I would still, you know, ask you that other than Trade India, what do you think is the medium to get more leads? You know, one you said, uh, Ray India, other was trade, trade shows, you know, participating in trade shows. Mm. Anything else you feel that, okay, this will, you said, Jame Portal and all, uh, you know, where people can get listed. Uh, because this will really help. Because the idea of this podcast also to help other SCBs that what is that successful enterprise are doing today, you know? So anything else you feel, you know? I can give you my own example. Yeah, please. Great. My product goes by word of mouth. Yeah. And almost 80, 90 percent, almost 92 percent or something is word of mouth sale. Okay. So initially I had lots of problem, you know, yeah. getting the first customer and the, from the first second and from the second, fourth and yeah. likewise. So initially I had a lot of problem getting the first 10 customers or 20 customers. Mm -hmm. But later on it expanded like anything. Okay. I didn't have to work hard yeah. for my customers yeah. because the work, word of mouth works better. Okay. Now for word of mouth, I had to ensure was the quality of the product. Absolutely. Quality doesn't mean sab maine mota chadar lagaya tha. Huh. Quality means there should be no complaint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, service was very good. Correct. Today what happens is everyone is selling the product. Yeah. You yeah. can you can buy a product sitting here from Russia also from yeah. US also. Mm -hmm. Not two days, it'll take just a week's time, 10 yeah, days' yeah, time, it'll yeah. be here. Yeah. But what about the service? Yeah. How much time will you take? Mm -hmm. So what we did was we worked on a service part. Okay. Quality we were maintaining. Mm. We went in for more certifications. Okay. We had good faith and we interacted well with our customers. Yeah. We won their faith. Yeah. And the best part is the vendors for us. Okay. Yeah. If I call my vendor even in the night at 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, mm. yeah, I need material. My customer is having yeah. a tough time. Okay. So he'll ensure within one hour it is there. Great. So my customer, their payment should never be stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have committed 15 days, ensure mm. it is there in 14 days. Okay. okay. Got it. So what I, I, if I have to summarize this, is one is quality product. Second is uh, good customer service. Mm. Third is good relationship with the vendors. Mm. And payments on time for the vendors which is because if you do that then they will support you as always well, yeah? uh, great i mean uh, these are some of the you know so basically and once you do that you get more referrals because you are delivering mm -hmm. a quality product and giving a good quality service and when you have referral the conversion percentage is also higher right mm -hmm. because yeah because somebody's referring you is ready to buy kind of you know uh, buyer which you will be getting and uh, our products are installed at dras and kargil yeah. They are installed in, in Kerala, in oh. Manipur, oh. Nagaland. Yeah. So, Pan India presence is there. Uh -huh. Okay. Nice. People are happy there. So, uh, if the customer is happy, they will give you more referrals, right? That, that's as simple yes. as, and you will get higher conversion. And one there. I forgot, I'm sorry, I'm just adding feedbacks. Yeah. We work very hard on feedbacks. Okay. So, if a customer says there is an issue, uh -huh. It has to be looked into. Okay. You can't just say, ho gaya yaar, chhod, ek saal ho gaya. Yeah, yeah. People come back to me after 12 years and say, Saab, isme maintenance kya karna hai? Yeah. I get so many calls. Yeah. Sir, 12 years ho gaya, koi maintenance ka to batao kya karna hai? Yeah. And I tell them, Saab, 12 saal ke baad, kya maintenance? I don't understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. You change the filters, 
तीस साल पहले अलग सीनारी होता है इट वॉज लाइक यू डिट है लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन राइट बट फ्रॉम टू टेक द रिस्क देर एंड टूडे यू हैव लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू हैव लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन वेदर इज फाइनेंस वेदर इज टेक्नोलॉजी गुड गवर्नमेंट स्कीम सपोर्ट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ओपन न्यू कंपनी सो लॉट ऑफ सपोर्ट आर देर फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इट सो वॉट इज दैट सजेशन यू वुड लाइक टू गिव द यंग एंटरप्रीनियर्स यू competition was there when lord arjuna was there yeah when arjuna was there competition yeah. competition was there when sam product started yeah competition will be there when you start right yeah yeah competition will always there product will always be there correct but options will also be there yeah not just for you to decide which option to choose yeah, yeah. point number 1 point uh-huh. number 2 i would suggest is be honest yeah. be disciplined work hard now like when i was passing out from my college सो माई प्रोफेसर समबडी आज माई प्रोफेसर सर हम लोग कॉलेज से तो निकल रहे हैं तो मैं बिजनेस पहले शुरू करूँ या पहले क्या करूँ मुझे ईसर हाँ, हाँ. साहब आपको स्विमिंग सीखनी है हाँ. तो शैलो में कूद मारोगे या डीप में मारोगे दैट आंसर डू नो नो इट इज फॉर यू टू डिसाइड सो प्रॉब्लम्स तो हैं यू वॉट यू हैव टू बिल्ड अप योर सर्विस आई फेस द प्रॉब्लम यार प्रॉब्लम तो थर्टी ईयर्स के बाद भी रहेंगे आई फेस दम यार आई फेस दम यूज कर लेंगे यार कर लेंगे सो बी डिसिप्लिन वर्क हार्ड बी ऑनेस्ट बी सिंसियर टू योर जॉब एंड आई लाइक आई प्रेफर इज वर्क नाइन टू फाइव थर्टी आई कैनॉट वर्क मोर देन फाइव थर्टी एंड लेस देन नाइन ओके मेरा स्टेमिना ही नहीं शुरू से नहीं है अच्छा बट बिटवीन दिस माई कस्टमर इज मी ओके नो हाउस नो नो एंटरटेनमेंट नथिंग make your own uh, timetable plan your life yeah. plan your business yeah i don't think there's an issue mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. easy easy okay because that risk taking appetite you uh, know everybody uh, doesn't have one thing okay. i'll add sorry again what happens is i see many people in small scale industry wahan par they try to avoid the compliances yaar kal kar lenge correct taxi to hai de denge correct don't do that ha ha pay your taxes on time yeah be a good honest citizen yeah compliances don't try and negotiate with them correct do it yeah 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 great i think you know good insights lot of interest you know industry knowledge for me also personally i learned a lot in this conversation you know which i'll take away and i'll ensure that i implement in my day to day life also so uh, sanjeev thank you very much for this you know and thank you very much for taking out this time and we we feel proud that we have customers like you you know and who have been part of our, our journey uh, i always tell that success is not about what we do it but success is all about if our customers talk about it you know and thank you very much for this you know thank you for very much for coming us coming here taking out uh, this time and sharing your all the insights you know i would also like to thank you for giving me this opportunity yeah. and uh, it's been pleasure because i think i have been associated with you and your company for donkey of years i would say it's been <laughs> i think more than about 18 years or 20 years maybe yeah, yeah. so we've had a long relation i wish to continue this uh-huh. and uh, we've had a good time also with your organization mm-hmm. and uh, your team is work, working very good so once again i would like to thank you and uh, we hope this relation continues long enough absolutely yeah. thank you very yeah, much yeah. thank you very thank much you. <laughs> thank you thank you